What if I tell you that Ghost of Tsushima that's based off of Japan is now banned in Japan? Bruh. Yeah, it's banned in Japan. We got a ton of drama going on with Sweet Baby Ink as well. Yep, Sweet Baby Ink, for those of you that do not know, are behind video game characters like this. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are two thousand genders. I want to talk about it. We also still have the ongoing drama with Phil Spencer, Matt Boutte as well. Both of these suckers actually dipped out and they let Sarah Bond catch all the heat. I, I cannot believe it, man. He still hasn't responded. That situation is ongoing. Of course, Sony has re-re-reversed the changes for Helldivers 2. And now Ghost of Tsushima, apparently, I couldn't even believe it, guys. That it is apparently banned in Japan. A game based off of Japan is banned in Japan. Just make it make sense. All, of course, talking about the PC version, but uh, check this out. Roll it. The Sweet it. Baby Inc. detected Discord server was hacked today and thousands of people were banned. Artist work was deleted. Receipts yeah. were deleted. Projects were deleted. And at the time of me recording this video, I do not think that we know who did it yeah. this is a tweet from cabrutus the person that created the sweet baby ink detected steam group which of course got attacked by the sweet baby ink employees yeah. and they tried to get steam to take down the detected group and they've got they've tried to get people taken down on twitter as well mm. but i'm not accusing them of anything i'm just saying there's a pattern of behavior with sweet baby ink employees this is Bruce. He says, what's up? So yeah, those of you that are still confused, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected was apparently like a group, okay? There was a Steam page for it. And the page, what it does is it actually puts all the games in places that has involvement with Sweet Baby Inc., the Woke stuff, the DEI, essentially, right? Like Sweet Baby Inc., for those of you that are new, uh, if you didn't know, right? Sweet Baby Inc. is behind characters like that. <laughs> so they are, out, they are out there to ruin video games and all that. So apparently Cabrutus made an account, a page on Discord, a group, and also uh, a page over on uh, Steam as well by the name of Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, and that ended up getting hacked. And people are wondering, like, who hacked it? I don't know who hacked it, guys. I don't know. What's up, guys? I was away for the whole day and just got back home. Yeah, the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Discord server has been hacked. An unknown person managed to hack an admin account, nuked yeah. numerous channels, receipts, Crazy. artist works, and an indie game project that was being built in the server together with many others. Banned our full Ooh. list of creators and devs plus 2,000 more people. Holy! Thanks to my staff, it stopped before more harm could be done to the servers. If you got banned, just DM a moderator and you'll be invited back. Oh, so that, that is from oh, Cabrutus. Yeah, shout out to him uh, for uh, yeah, yeah. We we coming back again. Okay, so the homie is trying to like uh, you know what? Uh, hey, let me know if you were in the group or not, and I'll add you. I'll invite you. Yeah, what a guy. Um, oh you know, this was a statement that they have made. Uh, attention, everyone. Our Discord server, Sweet Baby Ink Detected, just got attacked from a hacker. Many people were banned for no reason at all. We're working on fixing the issue. We will get everything up and running as fast as possible, and we apologize for the <laughs> issue. Oh, Thanks. my God. Bro. Now, again, if you remember a while back, this yeah. was when the Sweet Baby Ink Detected uh, Steam group started to get some traction, and yeah. Sweet Baby Ink employees were dead set on getting Steam to delete that entire mm. uh, curator group. So this yeah, is true. They, they were like, this is problematic. E e e this is problematic. Gamers are toxic. Why you are like this? Why you are spreading harassment? I mean, Sig is just want to know, like, what games are involved with Sweet Baby Inc. and what games are not, right? Uh, and people just simply put, like, people are basically following the rule of uh, just like how your minds are closed my wallets are gonna be closed as well Bruh. so people are just simply trying to see which games are gonna be involved by them which games are not and they're like um, okay i, I want to make like a better judgment of buying a game uh, and, and i, I just want to support a game that's kind of uh support that supports me and that actually values me as a customer as a gamer rather than a game that's gonna be affiliated by, by sweet baby inc and them just assuming that I'm just toxic and problematic. So yeah, absolutely, customer has the right to buy whatever they, they like, right? So Chris Kindred. Or not. Who said the at Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. Wait for it. You hear how that's worded? It's a harassment group. Why is it a harassment group? Can you tell me why it's a harassment group? 
it's a harassment group because they're consolidating all the games that Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on so that customers and fans and people that are interested in video games yeah. can look through to see what Which games game you've are... worked on. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. the harassment. Unbelievable. Yeah, it, it, it's crazy, right? Like, just because you want to know, like, which games are affiliated or not, which games are going to be having uh, the Sweet Baby Ink Kiss of Death. <laughs> you, you just want to know, right? Like, if the game you want to buy, if it's going to have that Sweet Baby Ink Kiss of Death or not. Some people just want to play games that are not going to be having the SBI Kiss of Death. Simple as that. Like the video if you agree. Um, it's or, or dislike if you disagree. Led by this person, Cabrutus Rambo. Uh, here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Uh -oh. Even uh -oh. with discriminatory language filed off, the group itself still fails the code of conduct. And uh, it says, uh, anyway, report the fuck out of this group. Kindred con uh, continued his offensive right here. So anyway, report the fuck out of this group. Uh, and report the creator since he loves his account so much. So what? not only were they trying what? to report the group, they wanted to have Cabrutus' entire account on Steam taken down as well. Now, of course, Steam responded and no wrongdoing was done and they failed completely. Now, again, I'm not accusing Sweet Baby Inc. of anything right now. I have no idea who hacked this Discord server. I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> what I do know is that Sweet Baby yeah. employees have shown a pattern. But but we know why they hacked it though. They didn't like the the Sweet Baby Inc. detected. I, I guess I guess the reason they hacked it is because they didn't want it uh, people to know what games uh, are being affiliated with Sweet Baby Inc. and what games are gonna be getting Sweet Baby Inc. kiss of that. So yeah, makes sense totally. Of disgusting behavior because they are disgusting people Wait because they are all one. about DEI initiatives, ruining properties, ruining games, yeah. ruining projects, ruining anything that is successful. Yeah, le let me show you guys this, right? So you guys know that they could have made like a completely new character. That would have been just perfectly fine, but they chose to take Lara Croft. <laughs> yeah, Lara. And now Lara has been turned into Lorenzo. <laughs> It's Lorenzo. Like the video, otherwise Lorenzo will beat your ass. Uh, people are saying this is in Call of Duty, but still, kind of goes to show you that Call of Duty adaption of uh, Tomb Raider is like Lorenzo and not Lara Croft. Crazy, and they're calling that that's Lara Croft apparently. Stunning, brave, strong, 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 independent, independent, independent. Well, because that is what DEI is, and yeah. we do, as a matter of fact, and, and I, I haven't I haven't pulled this up in a uh -oh. while. Uh -oh. This is the article that we wrote a while back. Sweet Baby Inc. does exactly what gamers think they do, and that was in response to a Kotaku article saying that Sweet Baby Inc. doesn't do what some gamers think it does. Yeah. And this is the co-founder Kim Belair right here. Probably um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Terrify yeah. them. Terrify yeah. them. Yeah. And so yeah. now you have this Sweet Baby Inc. Detected right. Discord server where creators are consolidating, they're communicating, they're talking about things, Crazy, they're sharing man. information, they've got receipts, they've got artist work, and suddenly the- They're actively harassing, they're actively like, hey, uh, yeah, go ahead and just a attack everybody, like, yeah, threaten them, bro, like, threaten them, that that's what they're doing. Meanwhile, we're like, hey, uh, can a brother perhaps just get a good game? <laughs> can we get a fun game? Can we get a game that's not gonna receive a sweet baby ink kiss of death? But guys, you're not ready for this one, though. Oh, shit. Oh, Check shit. this out. Roll it. We know the whole situation surrounding Sony and Helldivers. In case you don't, short version is Sony attempted to strong arm the Helldivers PC community Wait for it. into creating Sony PlayStation accounts in order to access the game. They were giving yeah. the player base a month until this would all become mandatory, but the backlash was so nuclear that Sony backtracked and said you would not need a PSN account in order yeah. to play Helldivers on PC. The aftermath of this situation saw review bombing being reversed, the community manager Spitz getting fired for encouraging players to negatively review bomb the game in order to send a message. <laughs> and in general, yeah. it seemed like a win for PC players. Need I remind you that around 80% of Helldivers 2's entire player base is on PC. 
So Crazy, restricting huh? and losing the trust of those players is obviously paramount to the. Con this is why, like, the the response was so big, right? And, and this is why Sony bent the knee. But ultimately, they only. Uh, it's like, guys, we only won round one because round two is about to hit you hard right now, and. and yeah, you're not ready for this one. And right as we get down to the climax here, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I want to say, if you do use Twitter or Instagram or both, I would definitely love to have you over on Twitter, Instagram. Link should be in the top and comment below with all my YouTube channels linked there. Main channel, second channel, third channel, secret link as well. If we got a secret link, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all of that. Definitely check it out. And uh, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. Let's check Continued it out. Continued success happened? of Helldivers. Well, now more information has come to light, and fellas, it's not looking good. Uh -oh. As Niche Gamer here reports, Helldivers 2 is still effectively banned in countries without PSN. Fans are crying out that despite Sony saying they are reversing the requirement of PSN account linking for Helldivers, it doesn't actually seem to be the case at all. Places like Belarus, Cuba, and the entirety of Africa, for example, do not have access to Helldivers 2 in any capacity still. Yeah, and Japan? actually, if you go look at the Steam database, you can find Japan? an entire list of countries that are still unable to purchase and play the game. And as Crazy. you can see on screen, that's a lot of countries, fellas, which means a lot of money is being left on the table as well, over a hundred... I, I just don't get it. 177 countries, like, bruh, Sony? Don't you like money? I, I guess they love money a lot more because I, I guess what their their end game here and goal is that like okay get people to sign up for PlayStation Network if they play on PC and eventually charge them money just like how they would be uh, how they are charging people uh, to play on PlayStation 5. By the way, I have PlayStation 5 and I demand as a gamer I demand free online for my PlayStation homies and also for my Xbox homies as well. Like the video if you agree. Online should be app uh, free. Online should be free. Online should be free. Absolutely. I agree with that. I stand behind that. Uh, like the video if you do. Countries stand are barred access from playing the that. game still. So what gives? One user named Pirate Software who brought this all to light had something to say on this. Here's what they said via Twitter. The Helldivers 2 community was tricked by Sony. Sony declared having a PSN account would be mandatory to play Helldivers 2. The community revolted and trashed the game's review score to 13% positive. Sony walked it back and stated they wouldn't be making PSN yeah. mandatory. Declaring yeah. victory, the community undid the massive wave of negative reviews, yet Sony did something sinister in the background. They restricted oh, Helldivers they 2 from being purchased in all 177 countries where PSN isn't available. They fooled you and the devs are still fighting to fix it. They continue further down by saying, for those claiming... It's like, dog, they have been crying over losing Call of Duty, and I, we talked about it numerous amount of times, and understandably, like, I, I was uh, saying, understandably, I, I see Sony's side, I see Microsoft's side, Microsoft simply just want to buy out their competition because they ain't got no games right now, so they wanted to get that, okay, it makes sense, right? And Sony, they were like, hey, bro, like, we don't have anything right now, if you lose Call of Duty, that's it. Sony was crying, and I, I saw their side as well, I was like, yeah, totally makes sense because like for example if uh, xbox decides to put call of duty on game pass which still they have yet to uh make that or fulfill that promise right so far they are also under massive fire uh, and massive backlash by uh, literally destroying and ending and shutting down their studios that made them uh for example tango nobody's caring about like the redfall studio being shut down but ultimately people care about what uh tango made which was hi-fi rush and they were apparently making hi-fi rush too and people were like bro that game is Successful. We need Hi-Fi Rush 2 right now. Uh, and, and Matt Booty, uh, Booty uh, goes on record, says that, hey, we need more games like Hi-Fi Rush. And then ultimately, the same day, we find out that they shut down Tango that was, uh, that made hi-fi russian that was looking to make hi-fi rush 2 and they also said all of the activision games are gonna come out on game pass but they still haven't so that promise is still yet to be fulfilled so i was seeing sony side because if and when call of duty goes on game pass uh, of course a lot of people would look at it the normies i'm talking about the normies not you guys the normies right the normies they will look at like xbox being like what 400 500 console and you can get Game Pass for $20 a month, whatever uh, your currency exchange would come down to in comparison to the US dollars, right? So ultimately, give or take around 20 bucks, right, per month. So $400, $500 console, $20 a month, and you get to play Call of Duty? I mean, shit, that's like, yeah, 
Uh, and, and on top, it's not just gonna be Call of Duty, you're also gonna get hundreds and hundreds of other games. Yeah, like the normie's gonna look at that and they're just gonna go with it. Versus like PlayStation $400, $500 console and you gotta pay like $70 for the game. And on top, like they're gonna have the marketing rights for Call of Duty and they can, if they want, so far they aren't saying they're not, but you never know, eventually in the future, they can do a thing where, you know, content come out, can come out exclusively first on Xbox, so they're in for the long haul, uh, long uh, long game and uh, long game by the looks of it. So they can do that. So I was seeing Sony side why they were worried, and, and they were basically like, "Hey, we don't have any game that can compete with Call of Duty." And don't get me wrong, Helldivers 2 is different, and it's not on the level of Call of Duty. But I would like to say that it's not that far behind either in terms of making the money, right? Uh, or I guess in terms of making the money, it's still far behind because yeah, they don't have like the the, the BBC button those the $80 King Kong punches yeah $80 microtransactions and in, in Call of Duty right now Bruh. that the Call of Duty community is saying it's just our reward bro it's just our Bruh. reward look look at Activision look at Activision they're just being nice they're giving you a reward right now I, I cannot believe it I cannot believe when I saw people defend that bull squash and we also got $100 microtransaction in Call of Duty a weapon skin and guess what the Call of Duty community is saying it's just a reward folks it's just a reward it's just a yeah I, I mean just f me sideways dog like i don't get it okay uh, but my point that i'm trying to make here is that helldivers 2 still got a lot of i mean not still it does have a lot of people playing the game so i mean you got a masterpiece in your hand sony why are you trying to actively destroy this it doesn't make sense but wait there is more these Check two this. actions were not associated in trying to community note me. Sony restricted sales at 10 o'clock UTC on May 4th and sent out the notice of walking back the PSN requirement at 4 o'clock UTC on May 6th. These actions were 30 hours apart. The oh wave of downvotes started oh on May no. 3rd and continued until Sony announced the PSN requirement was dropped on May 6th. You can review this in the package information and via Steam's customer reviews tool. So it seems, even though Sony has said you can play Helldivers without a PSN account or anything, they haven't actually been good on their word. And in reality, you still can't play the game if you're not within the 69 countries that PSN operates within right now. Which then begs the question, if Sony isn't done pushing this PSN implementation going forward for not only Helldivers, but other games as well. We yeah. do know that uh -oh. Ghost of Tsushima is coming soon to PC, and there's yeah. been so many conflicting reports regarding that game's PSN account linking. Some websites have been saying that you do need a PSN account to access the game altogether, while others are saying that you don't. Then you have users like this, for example, stating they couldn't buy the game because Ghost was allegedly region locked. But it seems like this region lock they're talking about is specifically tied to a certain seller of PC keys called the Green Man Gaming. Whereas yeah. if you buy the game via Steam directly, this doesn't seem... If you guys want to know more about the Green Men, guys, I have a second channel. This is where we upload the UFO content, though. Oh, shit. And yeah, we talk about the Green Men there, though. But all right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. What happened? To be next? an issue. The point being here is that we have many websites running these articles saying that Ghost is trying to pull a Helldivers 2 situation, but it isn't true yet, anyway. You can still buy the game via Steam directly, and it's already been confirmed by developer Sucker Punch that a PSN account is only needed to play Legends multiplayer. the multiplayer mode. Yeah. But the single player is completely fine and available without a PSN yeah. account. Obviously, but... the game is the single player. And Legends but... is just a free add-on release that was post-launch, so don't feel discouraged by this is what I'm saying. And if yeah. some websites try to pull a console war gotcha on you by saying you do need a PSN account, it's likely not true. As in the mm. making of this video anyway, since Ghost isn't yet out for PC. But I think Sony would be moronic to destroy an easy slam dunk like Ghost with something that could be so easily avoidable. And of course, as I was Ow. writing this video, even more information <laughs> has come out, and now it's- Oh my god! Oh, yeah, guys, 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 sit down, sit down, put your seat belts on! Cause this puppy butta go crazy! This puppy butta go crazy! Seems like Helldivers is doubling down on limiting more countries. And Ghost of Tsushima is also doing the same apparently. Pirate Software had a lot to add in this conversation, so here's more of what they showed. Apparently, just recently, Helldivers 2 has added countries like Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia as places that are also unable to purchase the game either. This was added 7 minutes ago to the yeah. Steam page. Well, likely oh hours God. later, once you've seen this, but you get what I mean. I'm reacting to this in real time. Now Ghost of Tsushima has been- So, like, they actively just- Banned a country <laughs> in front. Yeah, what, 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 what is going on? So today they were like, okay, I, I kind of feel cute today, right? Let me just uh, uh, nuke this country real quick. Let me just uh, put that country on a list right now. Let me just delete this country from, uh, you know, like from my eyes here. I don't want to see Ghost of Tsushima being on that country. Crazy. Like Sony, what the hell is going on? And yeah, Xbox, Microsoft. 
PlayStation, what y'all suck is doing right now? Y'all suck is are actually destroying gaming, bruh. Like, there isn't any good news going on in gaming, bro. Right? Like, I saw a comment from one viewer, and I totally understand that. Listen, man, I, I love all of you guys here, man. I appreciate all the support. But one, one of the viewer was like, hey, Skizzle, you're making, like, negative videos every day. I agree. So, I'm not even taking that as, like, uh, like I, I hate that guy or anything. I responded to him, and I'm gonna save this uh, on video. Dog, I wish there was positive news, bro. Like, I have been covering gaming news, like, I, I do it every single day, because I love it. I want to know, like, what's happening in gaming, and this is what I do on this channel, and on other channels, like, um, the reason I started the other channel was because, like, dog, we, we get nothing but bad news. On my other channels, it's a lot more positive, right? But, like, here, I, trust me, man, like, I want to cover good stuff, too. I want to be excited. I want to be excited about the games. I want to cover the leaks for the games. I want to cover the news. I want to cover the official story. I want to do, like, a lot more speculation as well in a good way where we talk about, hey, like, this game is going to, like, hit people in the G spot. Hey, guys, don't let your dogs out. You remember? I I'm not sure for how many uh, uh for how long you guys have been around but the reason i would like use this metaphor don't let your dogs out was because like hey the news was so exciting that guys just don't let your dogs out now it's like bruh like guys seriously let your dogs out man because uh yeah right now i guess you can let them dogs out bruh because they be in for way too long be getting nothing but bad news after bad news there uh, yeah like that uh, 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 uh. E3 ain't happening, I guess Summer Game Fest is happening uh, instead. Hopefully, we're gonna get some good news then, and I'll surely live stream, so hit the bell. Been updated as well, and it looks but... like all of these countries listed below are unable to purchase the game either. Places like Algeria, Serbia, and even Japan of all places? How does that even make what? any sense? Someone what? at Sony has got to have some twisted sense of humor. How the hell is Japan not able to buy a game that's based on historical events within their own country? I know Sony has to update stuff when they release in Japan due to microtransaction policies, which technically the Legends multiplayer does have those, but this is obviously a step way too far. The pendulum is swinging wildly right now. And again, I should reiterate, this Steam database page is saying these countries cannot buy the game. Not countries incompatible to play the Legends multiplayer, the entire game, single player 2. Crazy, I think bro. Sony is likely doubling down on the PSN thing no matter what it seems. Because obviously Steam's database would not be listing these countries if mm. it was just a multiplayer mode, mm. so this is clearly very shady. I think Sony is shooting themselves in the foot here, and they're gonna run into another hell I, I think they literally cut their leg off, bruh. Like, this is a far beyond than just shooting yourself in the foot. ...ever situation. However, the difference there, at least, was the controversy happened after people bought the game and had it for a month or two. This sort of yeah. screw up this early into Ghost's presence on PC could really mm. mess up their day one sales to even a week and more. This is a bad move on Sony's part, man. This will not end well. Also, Sony's stock has dropped 12.32% as I'm writing this as well, which I'm not good at math, but even I know that ain't a good thing to be happening. This is what happens when you push this stuff. You suffer. Is it really worth it, Sony? Yeah. Oh, great. Now the gamer is reporting on this too with their article, Ghost uh -oh. of Tsushima PC port delisted in countries without PSN access. Bruh. So this news is obviously starting to get into the mainstream. Well, that can't be good. Even this other article, the gamer says that Sony can't afford to screw up their Helldiver situation, and they're right. This whole thing is unfortunate, and I mean all of this happening, and Ghost releases on May 16th. That's like a week away at this point. What is Sony yeah. doing? The gamer said they reached out to Sony and Sucker Punch, but neither came to- Ho Hopefully, hopefully Xbox is not gonna be like, bruh, like, because they really did that when, like, Sony was messing up, like, when this drama was on its peak with the Helldivers 2 situation. It's getting Steam again, but it's not the same, right? But when the drama was on its peak, you know, Xbox came in and was like, okay, hold my beer, bro, I need that negative attention. Hopefully now Xbox is not gonna be <laughs> cashing in on that. <laughs> be like, this is cash money. I need to get my negative energy to- I need to get my negative points and brownie points but guys not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not we have a footage we have a video that's going viral right now uh, a ton of drama as well click on this video on the screen and i'll see you right there on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel and i'll see you right there